Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm great, Laura. How about you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good to have you in class. Welcome back. What about you, Azucena? Oh, are you kitty? <laughs> Let's see. How are you, Azucena? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I'm I'm so so. <laughs> Why are you tired? Eh, tired, fine, una mezcla de todo. <laughs> <laughs> every every emotion, todas las emociones, dígame. <laughs> todas and, las emociones. It's true, Azucena, and that's just Tuesday. Apenas vamos por martes. Imagínese. <laughs> Let's see, Adriana. How are you, Adriana? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Adri? Fine. All right. Excellent. Let me check. We have Francisco. Hi, Francisco. How are you? Good night, teacher. I'm fine. And you? How are you? I'm pretty good and excellent. Thank you so much for asking, Francisco. All right, everybody, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. And let's get into the business with this class, all right? We have broccoli is good for you. Basically, today we shall finish a section fourth, all right? So let's try to finish it today. I don't want you to go in a hurry, all right? Ya chequeé por ahí, creo que casi todos terminaron la section four, right? So excellent. Pero... También no quiero que nos vayamos tan rápido ahorita, ya que la terminaron, que excelente, right? Pero vamos aquí a ir practicando step by step. We have class 12. Let's check what else do we have. We have adverbs of frequency. Now, as far as you might remember, yesterday we were practicing with adverbs of frequency, right? Remember, it's not frequency, it's frequency, okay? So we have these adverbs. Let me see. A hundred percent, for a hundred percent, we use always, always. ¿Qué letra es la que no se pronuncia de esa palabra, Laura? La L y la A porque es O. Always. Always. Exactly. There you go. Thank you, Laurita. Always. And then you have, that's for 100%, right? Decíamos ayer que always es para cuando tenemos 100% de seguridad, de algo, right? 100%. And then you have 80%, which is usual. Usual. Then you have a 70%, which is often. Often. All right, in esta, ¿cuál es la letra que no suena, Francisco? In often. Let's see. A ver, ¿cómo estamos con ese listening? Um, the letter T. Exactly, letter T. We say often, así que no suena la T. All right, very good. And then you have for... 50% you have sometimes, all right? Sometimes. For 25% you have hardly ever, hardly ever. Y en hardly ever, Azucena, ¿cuál es la letra que no suena? Let's see. Uh, the letter L. Listen, hardly ever. Letter D. Exactly, there you go, thank you, hardly ever. All right, and then you go, finally, you have never. Never, it's for a zero percent. Zero possibilities, no chances, all right? Cuando no hay posibilidades, no hay ningún chance, decimos never. All right, 
So let let me go with somebody else. Let's see. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Si se notaron, les iba preguntando qué letras no se pronuncian, right? De ciertas palabras. Ahora quiero escucharlos de nuevo, practicar con eso. Let's see. Como les mencionaba, vi que por ahí ya casi todos habían terminado la section fourth. Entonces nos vamos a quedar mucho con el speaking ahora. So let me start with Fabiola. Hi Fabiola, how are you? Hi teacher. Ay, bueno, es que ando como con alergia. Entonces oh no, acá al rato. Ok, es la temporada, Fabi. Allergies. Sí. Tomé la ratadina. Ay, qué bueno. All right, let's see, Fabi. Eh, ¿Me regala el vocabulary, please? Ok, bueno. Um, bueno, le voy a pedir un favor. Si me lo yes. puede repetir solo una vez. Es que acabo de entrar. Entonces, ahorita como claro que, que sí. la mente no, no la ando muy fresca. No, claro que sí, Fabi. Here we go. Vamos a irlos diciendo con los percentage, all right? Vamos a irlos diciendo con los porcentajes. A hundred percent equals always. Ok, y si yeah. want Fabi. One hundred, ¿verdad? Ajá. Este, en realidad, el 100 se puede decir 100% o 100%. 100% que más. Este se me aprendí antes, dígame. Sí. All right. Uh, Uh -huh. Y el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El porcentaje, ¿cómo se decía? Si quiere, vamos a comenzar con el adverb of frequency y luego nos vamos a decir el porcentaje, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Aquí está al revés, pero es más fácil así. Always. Okay. Always. Ah, repita de nuevo, Fabi. Always. Ajá, uh -huh. there you go. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. Usually. Usually, 80%. 80%. Exactly. Often. Often. 70%. 70%. Sometimes. Sometimes. 50%. 50%. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. 25%. 25 person and never never zero percent zero person there you go solo que aquí en esta pueden decir 25 percent o pueden decir 25th percent uh, would you like to se, me, se me quedan menos los números que, que las palabras <laughs> Okay, let's try. Intente, Fabi. Always, um, one hundred percent. Usually, el ochenta, ¿cómo se decía? Eighty percent. Eighty percent. Often, es que los números es que seventy. El seventy percent. They sometimes fifty. Fifty percent. Hardly ever. 25. 25, uh -huh. 25% and never 0%. There you go, excellent, Fabi. Thank you. <laughs> That's just usted que me ayudó porque es. <laughs> it's a pleasure, Fabi. It's a pleasure. Por eso les estoy poniendo ya con el percentage, all right? Ya si, si alguien les pregunta, ustedes ya me dicen, el, el always es para el 100%. No, ya dicen, ah, oh, always is for 100%, all right? Ya vamos con todo ahí. Let's see. Let's go with. Let me check. Francisco. Let's see, Francisco. Tell me the advert of frequency and also the percentage. Okay. Este, always 100%. Usually 80%. Often 70%. Percent, sometimes fifty percent, hardly ever twenty five percent, and never zero percent. There you go, excellent. Thank you, Francisco. Let me go with Laura. Let's see, Laura. Okay, Miss. Always, um, 
hundred. No, 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 no. Sí, verdad. Yes, a hundred percent. Hundred percent. Usually, eighty percent. Percent. Often, seven percent. Sometimes, fifteen percent. Hardly ever, twenty-five percent. Never, zero percent. There you go, excellent. Thank you, Laurita. Let's go with, let me check, who else do we have in the class? Estreberto, okay, Estreberto, give me the honors, please. Sí. Hello. Hello, good evening, Estreberto, how are you? Hello. Let's see, Estreberto, tell me the vocabulary. Me dice el vocabulary, please. Recuerda utilizar el percentage. Vamos a utilizar los porcentajes, all right? Okay, okay. Uh, always. Uh, ¿Cómo es que se pronuncia el nombre? El, el 100%. A hundred. A hundred percent. Oh. Uh, a hundred percent mm -hmm. usually uh, a 80 perdón 80 okay usually 80 percent often 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 es reverto o often often 70 percent sometimes <clears throat> so, some, sometimes fifty percent. Esta era. Ah, esta cómo se pronuncia? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Twenty-five mm -hmm. percent. Y never. Zero percent. Zero percent. There you go, excellent, Estreberto, thank you. Now, let me go with Azucena. Okay, girl, please. Okay, miss, for the 100% is always 80% usually, 70% Often, fifty percent. Sometimes, twenty-five percent. Hardly ever, zero percent. Never. There you go, excellent, Susana. All right, everybody. Before I let the other ones practice. Antes de irme con los demás, remember, in this one is percent, no present is percent, percent, right? Let's go with the next one. Let's see. Regina, please. Okay. Hi, Miss. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Thank you. Uh, not bad. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Um, 100 per percent always. Uh, 80 percent usually. Seven. Seven. I seven. How would Seventy. Uh, percent of them, uh, fifty percent sometimes, twenty five percent hardly ever, zero zero percent never. There you go, excellent girl. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go with Manuel. Okay, Manuel, tell me the percentage and also the adverbs of frequency. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. A hundred percent always, eighty percent usually, seventy percent often, fifty percent sometimes, twenty five percent hardly ever, and zero percent never. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Lo Urdes. Okay, Lo Urdes, tell me the percentage and also the adverbs of frequency. Okay, 100% uh, always, 
80% usually, 70% often, 50% sometimes, 25% hardly ever, 0% never. There you go, excellent Lourdes, thank you. Let's go with the last one. No, we have Adriana. Okay, Adriana, tell me the adverbs and the percentage. Si necesita ayuda, Adriana, me dice, okay? Mm, bye. Um, one hundred percent all all way. Um, eighty percent all way. Um, seventy percent often. Fifteen uh, percent something. Sometimes. So, side time, side time, um, twenty five present, hardly ever, and um, zero present, never. All right, there you go. Thank you, Audrey. Let's see, and let's go with the last one that I have is um, Rosibel, please. Tell me the vocabulary, adverse of frequency, and also the percentage. Solo una pequeña duda. ¿Cómo es que se pronuncia el porcentaje? Percentage. ¿Perdón? Percentage. Per. Es sí. como... Pression. Así. Pression. Per. Okay. Eh, 100% always, 80% usual, 17% often, 15% sometimes, 25% hardly ever, 0% never. There you go, excellent percent, and uh, 0%. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Thank you, Rosibel. And let me see. Am I missing somebody? I don't think so, right? All right, everybody. With the percentage, it's okay, all right? And we are doing good the same way with adverts of frequency. All right, now let's move on to the following. You have this guiding structure, all right? As I told you at the beginning of the class, I know by now that most of you already finished section four. And congratulations for that. But we still need to practice, right? Because there's a different thing between grammar and also speaking. So I really need you to practice your speaking in this class. So let's get into the business. We have subject plus advert of frequency, frequency. Kevin, como se olvida, right? Advert of frequency plus verb plus complement, right? That's the guiding structure for sentences, simple sentences, right? And then you have these examples. Let me see. Esmeralda del Rosario, please. Tell me example number one and two. Okay, number one. I always have lunch with my mother at noon. Two, I sometimes eat dinner or sometimes I eat dinner, or I eat dinner sometimes. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent girl. All right, everybody. ¿Por qué en sometimes tenemos three options? Bueno, es el único adverb of frequency que podemos utilizar en tres diversas maneras, right? Puedo utilizarlo como me lo sugiere mi guiding instructor, o puedo cambiarlo un poquito, right? Puedo decir, I sometimes eat dinner, lo cual significaría tener el subject al principio, como lo sugiere mi estructura. O también puedo tener el adverb of frequency, luego el subject, luego el verb, el simple present, y luego el complement. O también puedo tener el subject, el verb, el simple present, luego el complement. Aunque en este caso ya no sería un complement, right Sería dinner, sería un noun. Y luego tienen sometimes, que sería el adverb of frequency. All right, everybody. With these examples, what are we going to do now? 
it says work, oh no, practice sign. Let me see. Laura, can you please tell me the instructions? Okay, practice time. Work individually. Create two sentences using adverbs of frequency. Share your sentences with my with the class. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, girl. All right, everybody. Only two sentences using adverbs of frequency. Me dicen si quieren que les ponga de nuevo la guiding structure o los examples. Pero solo necesito dos ejemplos, all right? Utilizando el adverbs of frequency. <laughs> okay, excellent, Azucena. Very good. Ok, let me check. Ah, no, eso, eso que envié eh, a su cena, eso no era para usted, right? Lo de I sometimes don't have breakfast. Eso era para Francisco. Let's see. Ahora viene aquí a su cena. ¿Qué sucede con su sentence? Me ha puesto dos verbs que llegan a significar lo mismo, right? So let's see. No, pero está bien, right? Solo es de quitarle un verb, porque it equivale casi a lo mismo que have cuando estamos hablando de comida, all right? Nada más tenía, tendría que usar uno de los dos. Ajá. Uh -huh. o, o uso it o uso have. There you go, exactly. Justamente. Ah, okay. That's the only thing, all right? Now, I think you already finished, right? Ya muchos están escribiendo. So, let's check those sentences. Let's see, Regina, tell me your examples. Okay, miss, I always eat in every dinner. I never, wait, ah, me falta uno. <laughs> right, let's see. Una sentence, le falta. Sí, solo una. Okay. Miss, I have a question. Uh huh. let me know your question. How, how do you say compañeros de trabajo? Workers. Workers. O también co-workers. Co-workers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, thank you. Workers son, es trabajadores y co-workers es compañeros de trabajo. Ok, y la molesto si me puede decir cómo se escribe. Ya, ahorita le digo en el chat. Gracias. Solo déjeme ver que ya me mandaron tantas sentences. Let's see. Ah, le voy a decir la que me hace falta, teacher. Ok, please. I never go to the cinema. You never go to the cinema. No, no. Por la pandemia. Ah, ok, you're right. Sí, es cierto, yo tampoco he ido mucho tiempo. Todavía estamos en pandemia. It's true, it's true. Ah, pero para andar bajando. ¿Yo? ¿Ahí quién no te tiene, diga Regina? Eh, sí, no lo voy a negar. ¿Para qué te lo niego? Let me see, Esmeralda. Deme un segundo, Regina. Ahí está Esmeralda. Okay. No, Esmeralda me preguntó, sí, ¿verdad? 
Ahí se lo mandé, co-workers. Gracias. There you go, excellent. Ajá, continúe, Regina. Solo me ha dicho dos. Eh, pero solo dos eran, no. Ah, ya, yeah, it's true. Excelente, thank you, Regina. I'm sorry, okay. es que mire, tengo que estar hablando aquí y de repente en el chat box. No, hombre. Uh, okay. ok. Thank you. Let me see. De igual manera, aunque me las mande en el chat box, siempre lo voy a pasar a hablar, all right? So let's see, Manuel. Tell me your sentences. Ok. I usually have breakfast at 7 o'clock. Um, I always do my homework. All right, excellent, yeah. that's correct. There you go, thank you. What about you, Lourdes? Um, the number one is, I always brush my teeth, and two, I sometimes eat pizza. Uh -huh. That's correct, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Fabiola. Let's see, Fabiola, tell me your sentences. I um, I sometimes I go a ride with my daddy in the afternoon. Um, I always play chess with my daddy. All right, there you go. Excellent. That's cool. Let me see, Francisco, tell me your sentences. Um. I never learn, learn to swing in a pool, and I sometimes don't have a breakfast. All right. Y cuando dice learn, Francisco, me quiere decir como yo nunca aprendo, o qué quiere decir? Es, es que no recordaba el verbo en pasado, entonces learned. lo dejé así. Mm -hmm. Learned, all right. So aquí estamos en simple present, Francisco. <laughs> Okay, so let's see, but it's correct. I never learned, right? Thank you. Let's go with Azucena. Okay, Azucena, tell me your sentence. Uh, uh, sentence one is I sometimes eat breakfast with Laura, and I often eat. Diner with my family. E hice una, un, un, una tercera, pero no sé si está bien. Dice, I never have a lunch with my husband because I don't have a husband. <laughs> It's great. It's great. Right, there you go. Thank you. It's correct. Let's see, Esmeralda, tell me your sentences. Okay. I usually have lunch with my co-workers at 12 p.m. The second, I hardly ever eat breakfast with, with my mom. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent, very good. Yes, because you're working. Let's see, Estreberto, your sentences. Yes, okay, no sé si estarán buenos. Pero bueno, usted eh, number, <laughs> usually come to class early. Number two, uh, I always eat at 12 o'clock. I always? Yes, I always eat at 12 o'clock. Yeah, that's correct. I always sit at 12 o'clock. Yeah, it's correct. Now you see? Very good. Excellent, everybody. What about Adriana? Let's see, Adriana. Tell me your sentences. Um, I never ate my salt. Um, I often the live fruit example of flow. I often? I uh, like fruit, example of flow. Ah, okay, there you go, excellent. That's correct, Adriana, very good. Now, guys, let's see what else do we have. Hasta aquí ustedes tienen alguna pregunta de cómo se utilizan los adverbs of frequency? Que diga, por ejemplo, que nunca puedo... 
Miss, no sé si vamos a ver eso o no recuerdo si ya lo vimos, pero por ejemplo, eh, uno con tercera persona. Ah, sí, como, déjenme ver. Uno con tercera persona. For example, eh, Anita never takes a shower, right? Ahí está. Ojalá que no tenga ninguna Anita aquí. Let's see. No, we don't have Anitas over here. All right, but that's one. Anita never takes a shower or Anita hardly ever showers, right? Lo único que cambiaría es que se le agrega la S, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Al verb. A la Al verb. frequency, no. Okay. There you go. Let me see. Quiero chequear lo que me mandó a Susana. No, fue Fabiola. Always oh, si yo quisiera ocupar el never, pero en una oración que digo, por ejemplo, que nunca puedo hacer. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, I can never build a Rubik's Cube. Mm, no, eh, Fabiola, porque el never equivale a un negative. Y si usted está utilizando el can, lo bueno es utilizar el can, que ya lo van a ver más adelante en la section 5 creo que con ustedes es, es que tienen la parte negativa. Ahí usted puede decir, I can't build the Rubik Cube. Right? Ya no necesita utilizar el never. O sea, ahí se omite, porque como con el hand está diciendo que no se puede hacer, no es necesario ocuparlo. Exactly, there you go. Omission. Pero, por ejemplo, si lo hubiéramos hecho, así como los ejemplos de ahorita, solo hubiera sido con el I never sin tener que poner el camp, ni nada de eso. Exactly, ahí solo dice un solo, I never built the Ruby, Rubik's Cube. Uh, ok, gracias. There you go, excellent, very good, good questions, very clever. All right, everybody, let's move on. What else do we have? Questions about frequency. Ok, now, check this out. This is also important, and you have the structure in here. Ya... Sabemos cómo utilizar el do and does in simple present, all right? Let's check this uh, structure. Let me see. Francisco, can you please tell me the structure? Um, do and la pleca sí. Dash. Do, dash, does, plus, subject, plus, habit. Plus fair, plus complement, plus question mark. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent. All right, aquí si se quieren omitir el uso del símbolo, you can say do or does, all right? Porque para eso se utiliza. All right, thank you, Francisco. So there you go, everybody. In this one, you know, when do we use do? Para qué subjects voy a utilizar do? A ver. I, you, we, they. There you go. Excellent. Easy peasy, right? Y si quiero utilizar does, ¿con qué subjects le voy a utilizar? Third person. Third person. She, he, it. Excellent. There you go. Ah, pues sí, todavía nos recordamos. Let's go to the next one. Guiding examples. Do you ever have pasta for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do, all right? In this one, you can have, if you notice after yes or no, we have to add a comma, all right? Basically, these ones are similar as the yes or no questions, but in these ones, you can add kind of a small quantity of information, right? For example, yes, I always do. Cuando les digo que podemos utilizar un poquito más de información es porque ya utilizamos un adverb of frequency, right? No solo decimos, yes, I do. No, all right? You are using an adverb of frequency. En este caso, el ever se vuelve mandatory. Es una obligación, all right? No es que no se pueda utilizar con otro adverb of frequency. Sí, hay posibilidades que sí se pueda utilizar utilizar, all right? Pero en este caso, la estructura nos dice ever. Utilicen ever. So that's what we're going to use. Let's see the guiding examples that we have. 
Let me check. Um, Manuel, please read example number one. Uh, does Alejandra ever have dinner at night? Mm -hmm. There you go, thank you. And Azucena, example number two. Does he ever eat pizza for lunch? Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent, right? Now, you are noticing that we can use does. Estos son los dos ejemplos con el does porque quizás el que más nos puede no costar, sino que tratar de acoplarnos, right? Porque estamos bien acostumbrados a hacerlo en first person singular. First person singular. Pero también hay que hacer uso de las third person singular. So, what are we going to do next? Practice time. Let me see Lourdes, please tell me the instructions. Work individually, create two questions using auxiliary do and does. Compare your questions with the class. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent. All right, everybody. That's the only thing that you need to do. Solo, no, solo van a hacer two questions. Ustedes me dicen si quiere que les ponga la estructura de nuevo o les getting examples o nos quedamos con este slide y trabajan en sus two questions. Los dieting examples, por favor. Excellent, very good. Okay, so I'm watching some sentences, right? Um, I'm gonna talk about those sentences later. Let me see, somebody else who has finished?
Okay, now let me check. All right, there you go. Let's see, let me start with Laura. Okay, Laura, tell me your sentences. Me falta una, teacher. All right, excellent. No son sentences, son questions, dígame. Let me see, let's have Esmeralda. Okay, no sé si están bien. Okay. Eh, does, does she ever eat fish for breakfast? Mm -hmm. The second is, do you ever travel another country? Uh -huh. Do you ever travel uh -huh, to another country? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Now, in this one, actually, most of the time, we use have you ever, right? But you're able to use it. We do, too. Okay, that means okay. possibility. Let's go with Lourdes. Let's see, Lourdes, tell me your questions. Okay, the number one is, do you ever cook a cake? And number two, does she ever clean the house? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Let's go with Manuel. Mm. Do they ever exercise in the gym? Mm -hmm. And does he ever cook in pizza? Does he ever cook? Cook pizza. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. That's correct. Let's see. Estreberto. Okay. Uh, number one, how do you go to work? Number two, well. What does your sister do? Mm, all right, that's good. Remember that we are using this structure. Recuerde que estamos utilizando esta estructura, right? Do and does, okay? Y también el adverb of frequency, que en este caso sería ever, all right? Okay. Don't worry. Let's go with, let me see, Azucena, tell me your sentences. Okay, Miss. Ay, Azucena. Eh, sentence. Es que es una gran panqueta. <laughs> um, uh, does she ever... No, 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 esta no porque compañera dijo una similar. Okay. Um, does he ever eat bread sweet with coffee for dinner? Sweet eh, bread. Does Emilio ever have shower at night? All right, excellent. Thank you, um, Azucena. Just remember, uh, sweet bread, okay? Are you there, Azucena? Al revés. Ajá, sweet bread. Sí, la pronunciación okay, es dinner, okay? Dinner. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay, miss. Very good. Now, let me see. What about now, Laura? Ahora sí, have you finished your questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's check. Mm, number one, does William never eat breakfast? And number two, does she cook in the morning? Okay, in number one, I suggest you to use ever, okay? Yo le sugiero que en la número uno utilice ever, right? Okay. That's the only thing. Very good, Laurita. Let's go with Regina. Okay. Um, does Jose ever eat with his brother Sunday? Does Maria work every Monday? No sé si están bien, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does Maria ever work on Monday? Yo le sugiero que mejor ponga on Mondays. On Mondays. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, right. thank you. You're welcome, honey. And let me see Adriana. Okay, Adrianita, tell me your sentences, your questions. <laughs> don't, don't Carmen ever 
have a early dinner? Does she you ever have bread and coffee for breakfast? Does, do you ever? In this case, if you use you, it has to be do. All right, excellent. Uh -huh. Si usted utiliza el you como subject, eh, y recuerda la regla gramatical, nos dice que para el you vamos a utilizar do. Do. Thank you, Andre. And let me check. Francisco, tell me your sentences, please. Um, does Maria never fall in love? And does he always work at night? Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, it's correct. But number one, I suggest you to use ever, all right? Yo le sugiero que utilice ever. And let's go with Fabiola. Okay, Fabi, tell me your sentences. Y no sé si estará bien la, la última que le puse. Mm -hmm. Check. Déjeme ver si algún día la encuentro, Fabi. No, está casi al inicio. Just Son las últimas. Yeah, it's correct, it's correct. Solo que ella, yo no me está utilizando el simple present, pero, pero sí está correcto. Um, entonces le voy a decir solo una. En sí ni la hice yo, la hice usted. Solo que yo sí le vea y usted la armo. Eh, la que había puesto al inicio. Eh, ahí se me olvidó en un momentito cómo se pronuncia el, el dos. Sí, va. Does he often go to the park? Mm -hmm. Does he often go to the park? Excellent. Pero eso traba lengua, ¿verdad? Cuando se dice mm -hmm. rápido. Exactly, it's true. Miren, la verdad es que sí, no les voy a mentir. Más cuando tenemos palabras con R, con muchas R seguidas, it, it's hard, all right? Cuesta. But don't worry, Fabi. Uh -huh. La otra no se la digo porque pues está mal en tita, porque ya no se ocupó la estructura. Ok, excellent. Thank you, Fabi. Pero sí está correcta, right? La tiene correcta. It's just, it's not. Solo que sí me ocupa eso, pero uh -huh. ajá. Okay. But that's correct. Very good. All right, everybody, let's move on to the next one. What else do we have? I have sort of like a practice for you, but I think it's going to be too long and we are just about to finish. We're missing like 10 minutes, right? So let's go to the reading part, okay? Let's check those pronunciations, okay? Como les dije, um, estaba estaba chequeando yo la plataforma y vi que ya la, la mayoría terminó. ¿Será así? ¿De verdad todos terminaron ya Section 4? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> ¿Por qué dudan? <laughs> All right. Very good. So if you finished, that's great. Let's work on these readings, please. Vamos a practicar nuestro reading. A ver cómo está nuestro reading, porque el reading is different to speaking, all right? Son dos eh, habilidades bien diferentes. And we need to practice with both of them. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's have the first one. Let me check. Manuel, please. Tell me the first one about Chinese people. I don't know. How is the pronunciation of tangerines? Tangerines. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Uh, tangerines are round. Round. I can see. Okay. Round foods and and begin again like years. Years. Uh -huh. Round foods and and begin again like years. Uh -huh. Right, excellent. Thank you, Manuel. Very good. All right. Estos readings están bien pequeños, pero si tienen una pronunciation kind of hard, right? So let's work with the other one, Jewish. Les voy a dar esta palabra, Jewish. All right, let's go with Esmeralda del Rosario, please. Okay, Jewish, dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Jewish, okay. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. 
Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Greeks eat basilopita. All right, o como decía en el video, basilopita. Let's check. Mm. Azucena, please tell me this reading. Okay, Miss. Great, eat basilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. That's correct. Le meten dinero, hace pan, dice. <laughs> Le ponen monedas, una moneda adentro del pan, right? Y si se la traga, pues. Es como para los del tele. El día de los reyes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No sé de eso yo, Susana. Solo que sí está bien sí. raro esto, right? Teacher, el que sí, le sale está. la moneda Muchos va a tener hermanes. buena suerte. Ajá, exactly. Ese es el purpose. Pero imagínese se la trae. <risa> no o se quiebra un diente. Va a tener suerte el que le dé idea. <risa> o peor aún, si se quiebra el diente, como dice Manuel, imagínense, tienen que pagar más por repararse el diente. <risa> Bueno, pero las transitions, right? Ni tan suerte. Ni tan suerte, exactly, all right? There you go, excellent. Now let's go with the following. Let's check, what else do we have in here? Ooh, let me see, let me make it bigger for you. We have in Spain. Let me see. Orlando Echeverria, please. Okay, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, in Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes and midnight on New Year's. Midnight, sí, verdad? Midnight. On New Year's, have one grape for for good luck in each month in the New Year. Uh, that's correct. Excellent. Repeat after me, Orlando. Midnight. Ah, uh, midnight. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. It's correct. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. Thank you. Good night. All Thank right. You, You're welcome. Uh, let me see. Now, in this one, it's pretty basic, right? We actually do that in El Salvador, I think so. Well, people do that. Uh, let me see. In Spain, some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight. Uh huh. That's basically one of the traditions that Salvadorian people has, right? Two. So let's go with the second paragraph. Let me see, Fabiola. Eh, solo una pregunta con una palabra, que sea lo último, con después de rice cakes, for, eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia? A strength. A strength. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Va a poner la lengua en la TH, strength. A strength. Mm -hmm. bueno, esperemos que no se olvide cuando llegue allí. Ok. On New Year's Day in the in Japan people eat mochi, así se dice, mochi, mochi. rice cakes for a strain in the New York. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's correct. Very good reading, Fabiola. And let's go with some Americans, Regina. Okay, some Americans from South, Southern states eat black A piece and rice with collar, collares, collar. Colored green. Color Colored green. green. Mm -hmm. okay. The black A piece are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Man, they want to know everything related with dollars, right? <laughs> All right, excellent, Regina, there you go. So those are the, those are the different types of tradition that people keeps doing it right for them that's something like holy like a holy grail for them right they respect a lot their own traditions and basically what you were supposed to do in that part is to write down some similar traditions from the ones that we have in here right in El Salvador um, so far <clears throat> after reading the three readings we get to the conclusion that only Spain has the same or a similar tradition as in El Salvador, right? The other ones, 
¿Alguna vez ustedes han visto que hagan alguna otra de estas tradiciones, aparte de la de las 12 uvas? ¿Have you ever seen it? Seen that? Sacar la maleta a pasear. What's that? <laughs> Jesus. I didn't know anything about it. All right, everybody. With this, we're going to finish section four entirely, right? Con esto ya finalizamos la section four. Mañana les voy a hacer unos, como unos test, all right? Para ver cómo estamos con esos adverbs of frequency. Para ver si los recordamos, cómo utilizarlos, a dónde van a estar colocados, all right? And if you need help to finish section four, si en dado caso les hace falta algo, de la sección 4, pueden decirme, right? Eh, yo puedo ayudarles ahora en la noche si desean, porque creo que hasta ahora tienen para completarla enterita, la sección 4, all right? So that's pretty much it for today's class, everybody. It has been a pleasure to be with you, and I will see you tomorrow. Please, don't miss tomorrow class. Por favor, no se pierdan clases de mañana porque tenemos la sección 5, all right? Bye. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you, me. You're welcome. Bye. Here. Good night. See you. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.